Hi, it's Victoria Gibson from fbadqueen.com and in this video, I'm excited to show you how to use the brand new Facebook feature promoted posts. Now it came out last week and I would have been earlier to show you a video, but unfortunately, um, Facebook decided they didn't want to give me access and still actually haven't given me access to this feature on my own um, main Facebook account which I can't quite work out why so after a week of thinking surely I can't be the only person in the world not to have this feature I thought I would go in and um, to my other account <laughs> and see what was going on and lo and behold I had access in there so um, I can finally show you on a video exactly how to use this feature so Look, I thought I'd do this on um, Amber's Facebook page, um, who's a client of mine, um, and she's got a webinar on tonight, so I thought, perfect. Um, that's the perfect kind of message that you want to think about broadcasting via a promoted post. Now, we're doing ads for Amber as well, but um, I thought, well, what better way to test it out than um, via a message that is really important that it goes out today because her webinar's um, tonight. So... Let's try a promoted post or yeah, promoted post on her page. So um, I'll show you how we do that. So I've just put in the message about the webinar. So you could be doing a message um, that perhaps has um, a, you know a link to a product on your site. Maybe you've got a video that you could upload. Then you select um, this area here if you've got a photo or video. Now, um, if you've been following my Facebook page, you'll know that. Images are working extremely well on Facebook. You should try and include an image in all your posts if possible. Um, the full size image is 404 by 404 pixels um, and that gets major impact um, on people's news feeds. Actually, it floats to the top of news feeds so you can pretty much be guaranteed that your post will be seen by a hell of a lot of people if you use an image with it. So I am going to use an image with this one. Um, you can just update a normal status, and if so, then you just start typing in your text status. But as I said, I would definitely suggest that you um, use a photo or video. Um, you can also promote an event um, or a milestone within your timeline here. I might flick over to another page that has offers, and I can show you how we can do that as well. Um, you may have seen my video a couple of weeks ago about how to use the new Facebook offers feature. I mean, I'm just blown away by these new features that Facebook have added. I think they're amazing. I think you should be diving in and using them. I know it's hard when you don't sometimes even know they exist or how to use them, but I'll be um, making sure that I give you that information um, very soon. Um, and you can also hop along to my Facebook page and ask me. I'm at um, fb.com forward slash ad queen page, and I'm more than happy to answer your questions there. Um, but if we want to start promoting the post, let's go in here. So when I've um, loaded up my image and my copy, I want to click on promote. So it's going to say get more people who like your page to see the post. So it, an important point here is we are doing ads because I want the ads to go to people um, who uh, haven't yet liked the page or maybe don't know about Amber yet because she wants to build her list as much as anything, like we all want to grow our business. So we'll be doing some ads um, to non-fans um, and you know, using the beauty of Facebook ads and all that entails, including um, marketing to friends of fans, um, but also to um, targeted groups who uh, would be definitely be open to her message. But these promoted posts are just for your fans. As you no doubt know, um, not all your posts get through to all of your fans because of um, the way Facebook's algorithm works um, and generally they'll only show your post to people who have perhaps interacted with the page or viewed it recently. So in order to get to some of those people who perhaps haven't stopped by your page for a while, the promoted post is a great way to do this. Now this feature actually copies um, a feature available for bigger businesses who are allowed to set a certain amount um, per month to make sure their posts um, show up in, in news feeds too. So they've brought that to individual pages, which is super exciting. Um, and perhaps if you haven't dipped your toe in the water with ads yet because it seems so intimidating, this is a great way to get started and see if it makes a difference for you. So um, maybe you want to set your budget um, for a day. You might only want to put 
you know, what have we got from five, five dollars, it tells you how many people it expects to reach. Now, Amber's got 2,100 fans on her page. So, you know, we want to reach 2,000. So why don't we put in that we'll um, uh, promote this with $30. Um, and let's just take a look at the options of how long. Now, I only want this to go for a little while. So I, it's not giving me that option here. So what I'm going to do is um, do it for less amount to start with um, because the $10 will obviously should be a day um, that, that it costs. So um, her credit card is already saved in here because... Um, it's linked to an ad account, so that's fine. So we'll put that in there. I might actually, um, that's fine, yeah. So we'll put that in there, and then we just click on save. And let's see what happens then. Okay, that's fine. That's all we need to do there. So you just basically need to select the amount, and that will dictate generally how long for. So you don't get to put in a date at all. Um, you might have also seen, um, I'll go into that on a different post, but um, you might have also seen that you can, no, I can do it here, um, target by location as well. So um, you may just want to um, show your post to a certain audience perhaps. Um, so you can actually enter in countries and languages. So that can be beneficial if you, um, you know, have got global fans on your page. Um, I know uh, one of my clients has got um, Brazilian customers as well as American customers. And when she was posting some posts in Brazilian, some of the Americans would get a little, you know, upset about it. So this way she could actually um, clearly define those posts um, in Brazilian to the Brazilian audience um, or the people living in Brazil. So, you know, that could be handy in that way. It could also be handy to, um, you know, make sure that you're getting your posts out in prime time, um, you know, according to the time zones. I know down here in Australia, you know, our time zone is so different to um, America um, that that would be a handy feature that I could do um, different posts for each. Um, also, I know I see some things that are very, you know, specific to Australian audiences, so that would be a good way to just use, um, just post sometimes to Australia. So anyway, okay, I'm just going to click the trigger there and press post. And let's hope that this works. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, I thought the photo wasn't going to work there. So we've got an image there um, and it's just, you know, a simple um, post that says um, for people to register and that the webinar is tonight. So it's got a nice call to action there, which is always what you want in an ad or if you're going to spend any money on Facebook, um, you definitely want a call to action. So um, use that in your promoted posts. If we go to um, another page here um, that is a page with offers, I think I showed you this page the other day um, when I was explaining offers um, because we've had some huge success on here. Uh, not now, this is because I'm using it in a new account. We've had some huge success on this page with offers actually and a few of the offers, I mean, we've got like 4,700 likes on here. A few of the offers have had, you know, 3,000 um, shares, so, or 3,000 claims, sorry, not shares, 3,000 claims. So you can see here when an offer is set up, it shows you how many people have claimed it. We've had um, one offer that has had three, or nearly 4,000, I think it worked out to be, because we posted it twice. We had nearly 4,000 people claim the offer. Now that is just phenomenal. Um, and I think it's such an opportunity. Offers are not available on all pages. So it appears that promoted posts are, unless your name is Victoria Gibson, where it doesn't seem to want to give me the option to promote posts. Um, but on all other pages, it seems to be an option. Um, but offers are not so you do tend to need to have a local business so here we've got an address and it's classified as shopping and retail now so I've been trying with some of the pages to put an address and see if it makes a difference and it comes up but I haven't had much luck yet so I think you have to keep it pretty like much like a local business or a shopping and retail category um, I hope it comes they said they're rolling it out to all pages soon and I really hope so because it is an amazing feature. I mean, basically, it's like putting daily deals on Facebook um, at no charge. This is an option you don't even need to advertise if you don't want to. You can rely on the viral sharing capability if you've got enough fans on your page. So, I mean, what better marketing opportunity is there than that? 
Um, so in order to set one of these up, all you need to do is just click on offer um, and go from there. Add a thumbnail that's 60 pixels by 60 pixels. Um, write a headline that's just clear, something like, you know, 20% off or, you know, just giving away a good strong discount works really well. Nice um, picture is great. You can put your conditions in here and you can actually limit the number that are claimed um, and say when it expires. Click on preview and then load it up and um, your offer's on the page like just down here. Now if you want to see how they're going then you just as usual click in your um, on your insights on your page. Um, now because I'm in a different account I haven't got the insights in here but you go up here to this panel and you'll be able to see how well your offers are doing, how many likes you're getting. Uh, you may have seen um, there's also been some changes to the ad manager which I also did a video on um, where I, I showed too that um, they're showing more of the actions in your ads when you advertise on Facebook. So I'll do that in a I'll cover that in a separate video otherwise this video is going to be um, super long but I mainly wanted to cover um, the promoted posts and the other thing I wanted to um, promote, which is actually one of the biggest things, not promote, actually just share with you, um, is let's go back to um, that other page, Amber's other page. Um, I wanted to share, oh no, that's her actual page. Hang on a minute, her um, personal page. We want her biz page here. Um, oh, and it's not called that, that's why I'm confused. One minute, it's Naked Women's Business. Okay, so going in here, one of the biggest release for us Facebook marketer this week has been you can post and then you can schedule. How fantastic is that? So you just put in your post, click on the clock and um, you put in the current year. So if you want this to, um, <clears throat> to schedule today, you just put in 2012, um, the date, you know, month, June, over here it is the 6th, June, um, and then <clears throat> I don't want that for a milestone, so hang on a minute, what have I done? Um, oh, I have to um, say when this began before I'm allowed to do that, so Amber hasn't added that to her page, uh, so I better not put that in because I have a feeling that it's 2010. I'll just put that then um, in there. Well, there you go. There's a little trick that some of you may have had to have um, done yourself as well. So let's try again. Take two, put your post in, um, click on the clock, add the year, select 2012, add the month and the day and then you can add the time now um, from what I understand you can add up to six months in advance at 20 minute intervals so this is great if you maybe just sit down and batch up a few posts so that you've got a nice presence and you don't have to be there and the beauty is unlike other third-party tools there is no tag underneath that says that it's posted via a third-party tool so for all intents and purposes people understand that you've posted it you're there um, and you should get some great levels of engagement there. So you just pop that on and then press um, schedule and you're good to go. So you can still either promote or schedule. These are the two um, great features that have come out from Facebook this week. So I wanted to highlight them, but I will be going into them in more detail as well in future videos and content that I'll be sharing. So I hope you found that beneficial and um, I will speak to you soon or see you on my uh, Facebook page fb.com forward slash ad queen page. Otherwise come along and grab uh, your free Facebook ads cheat sheet at my website fbadqueen.com. Just enter your email there and um, you can also see some of my past videos that I referred to. Hope you have a great day. Bye.